Number eight? Number nine. We did eight yesterday. What is it? It's a monster truck. Okay, this is a good take home. You got this. It's right here. I know, that's so cool. It's on there. Mm -hmm. Then I can add it to my collection. I just have to pay it to 40 whole dollars. 40 whole dollars? Out of my bank account. Out of your bank account, yeah. I do have a secret bank account. You have a secret bank account? You yeah. having money on me? Yeah, that has a hundred and two dollars in it. Whoa, that's a lot of dollars. I'm rich. You are rich. Because I make a lot of scientist videos. Oh yeah. That makes sense. I don't like a lay on the floor. <laughs> that doesn't go to this thing. Yeah, it's a different one That goes to my snake thing, blah blah blah. Yeah. We can't say snake in class, it's not a bad word, but it's quirky. His biggest fear is snakes. Just scared of snakes. Yeah. You're not scared of snakes, really. I'm not scared of them, but I don't want to touch them either. I like looking at them, but I don't want to touch them. <laughs> That's what it came into. This is not real. When I put it together, this is what it comes into. Yep. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is December 9th. <laughs> I'm sitting here working on my gnome uh, for Crystal. So I finished his body last night and sewed his nose and his arms on. I left this, this tail up here because his hat's going to cover it, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> But he's cute. Oh, he got a fuzz on him. Always. <laughs> so cute. And now I'm working on his hat. And Lord have mercy, this thing's taking forever. <laughs> but uh, it's really cute. And it's got shaping in it, so it turns on its own. Uh, she's so good around patterns. I swear, every time I test one of her patterns, it just surprises me at how good she does with the shaping of pieces. But uh, I did the brim in Pipsqueak. And Lord, <laughs> I hate using that yarn, but it looks so cute. I'm going to try to make the pom-pom at the end with it as well, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to crochet like a ball because you can't cut um, pipsqueak. It'll just fray everywhere. But I held it with a like a DK weight yarn right here, and I left that to sew it onto the gnome's head. But uh, it looks cute. Uh, this is a... I love this yarn. It's called Christmas Sparkly. But I'm getting there. I, I wrote out the pattern on my paper I shorthand wrote it out because I, I like doing the shorthand stuff better than um, reading like wordy patterns because that's just it's easier for me. So I'm doing it now. I'm on the like, tail end of it. I've got like 20 more rows to go, maybe. Well, it looks like more closer to 30, <laughs> 20 something rows, and it's gonna start like turning and getting smaller, and then the pom pom will be like right here. <laughs> but she is so good at shaping. Like the shaping is in the hat. You can see it right there where it's curving. It's just this is just good. She's a good rat pattern runner. But I'm working on that and watching YouTube videos. And uh, I got to record a video here in a little bit. A Happy Mail video. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to focus on finishing this for her. So I can give her my feedback. Um, so she can get her pattern out. Now I'm making mine in Christmas colors. But it's a gnome. So you can make it in any colors you want. I just wanted to use Christmas colors. Because I'm Christmassy. <laughs> But, yeah, I wanted to pop in and show you guys that real quick. And I will try to check in with you guys later. Uh, I did not do a good job at vlogging yesterday. But it's just because I got busy and forgot. But hopefully I'll do better today. I'm going to make some tacos tonight. I didn't make them yesterday. And I want to make some cookies. So Jesse can have some when he comes home. I think he'd be excited to have homemade cookies when he gets home. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, we went to pick up our Walmart grocery order today. And they decorated the pickup signs with bows. It was so cute. I took a little clip. And uh, it was just so cute. <laughs> Stuff like that makes me so happy. But uh, yeah, most of my grocery pickup order today was Christmas food to take to my sisters and my in-laws. I wanted to go ahead and buy it now because in a few weeks it might not be in stock, you know. So I got a lot of chocolate in the closet. <laughs> I'm making cookies for us, cookies to take to my sisters, 
bark to take to my in-laws and maybe some uh, bark for us here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and try to finish up this little hat real quick and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later out today. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. Ta-da! He's getting there. I didn't do the hat as well as I would like to have, but uh, it's still looking cute. I gotta make his uh, pom-pom and his beard. I'm trying to work on his beard, but I'm having a hard time brushing it out. I haven't made a brushed beard in forever, and it's taken forever. And I forgot how long that it takes to brush out this stupid yarn. <laughs> I wish I had uh, something else to use instead of maybe, I don't know what to do. So if I just brush this yarn, it's gonna take a year and a half to fluff out. It fluffs out faster if you untwist the yarn, but that will also take forever. <laughs> and I don't know if I wanna do that. See, I'm brushing it and it's like nothing's happening because I'm even getting fuzzy. Uh, this beard. It's gonna look kind of like that, but hopefully brushed. Oh boy. Maybe I'll just add more yarn to it and not brush it. Because I started to untwist them on Twisted 2. <laughs> and they do fluff up better when you untwist them, but there's that many to untwist. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Oh boy. I don't know. I'm just sitting here trying to brush it. Anyways, I thought I'd get on a chat for a minute. Uh, in my vlog yesterday, I was freaking out about the baby. And one thing um, that freaks me out the most is because I never have went into labor. <laughs> I, I did have a baby, yes, Jesse, but I didn't go into labor with him. I was sick and was sent to labor and delivery. They told me we had preeclampsia and they induced me. <laughs> So I have no idea what it's going to be like when I actually go into labor. If I get to go into labor this time, I don't know what to look for. You know, it's kind of like being a first-time mom again. I don't know what's going to happen <laughs> if I just go into labor because I've never went into labor before. My sister was induced with her son as well. Uh, hers was a planned induction, which I don't want. I want to go. I want as a natural um, birth as possible. I'm still getting an epidural, <laughs> but I want to go into labor naturally if I can, you know, health, if the health is okay. I need a metal brush, like one you use on dogs and cats. This is a beard brush I borrowed from Devin. <laughs> I borrowed it from him a few years ago and haven't given it back to him. Because it's not working. Very good. I made Santa's beard up there, but his is I untwisted it all. I just really don't want to do that because it takes forever. I don't know. But yeah, so, you know, I don't know the signs of early labor. Other than what, you know, the doctors tell you and what you read online. Just the same old generic stuff. But at the same time, you know, like my mom, she was telling me when she went into labor with my brother, her, my, um, my second oldest brother <laughs> I'm confused. it was her second baby that she delivered but her first one she was induced with i'm pretty sure um but my other brother she was laboring all day didn't even know it because she didn't know what to look for you know and that's kind of that's kind of how i feel like i don't know what to look for what if i'm in labor all day one day and don't even know it and then it's too late and i end up having her on the side of the, sh <laughs> the highway all the way to the hospital but um she said that her, uh, my dad's mom at the time, her mother-in-law at the time, um, is the one who told her that she was in labor because she was, uh, complaining about, you know, the pains and stuff and all that on the, while they were sitting on the porch waiting for the men coming from the field <laughs> because the, the, my pa and my dad were out in the field doing field stuff. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> and, um, they were just waiting on the porch for them to come in and that's when, She's like, yo, you're in labor. <laughs> so, um, I'm worried that I'm going to go into labor and not know it. That's what I'm worried about because I have had a baby, but I have never gone into labor. Being induced was horrible and traumatic. Absolutely hated it, and I hope that I can get out of doing it this time. Because it was way too much people up in your business. They put a balloon thing all the way inside of you up to your cervix, and that hurt really bad. Then they have to come in there and check it like every five seconds. 
to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. Plus, they put me on Pitocin, which was ridiculously strong. And I was pretty much contracting nonstop. It wasn't even like, you know, you contract and then it goes away. And then, and then a, a, you know, a minute or two later, it comes back. When I was delivering Jesse, because they were trying to rush him out so fast, because it was either get him out or I'm going to have to go get a C-section. Um, they had it turned up so high that uh, it was just constant. And I didn't get my epidural until I was eight centimeters because the anesthesiologist went to lunch that day <laughs> and was gone a really long time. And uh, I had, I got stuck waiting for him. So I had Jesse, uh, he was born at 1.40 p.m. And I really want to avoid that if at all possible because that was a horrible experience. I hated it. And plus, Jesse was sick when he was born. He had an infection in his blood. Um, due to the preeclampsia, I'm assuming. So we were in the hospital for a week after he was born, which was no fun. You know, as a first time mom, I wanted to have my baby and go home like regular moms do. And I'm just, I'm worried that I'm gonna either go into labor and not know it, and it's gonna be too late to get to the hospital because the hospital I'm delivering at is almost 30 minutes away. Because <laughs> our hospital here is tiny Hick Hospital. They don't even have fetal monitors here. Uh, the only thing they can do if, if I go there is put me in an ambulance and take me to the hospital I'm delivering at. Um, so that's not fun at all. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> so hopefully everything goes good. And I hope that when I go into labor, I know it. <laughs> and uh, I know, you know, when you go into labor, you don't go into the hospital immediately. You're supposed to labor at home until your contractions get a certain amount of time apart unless your water breaks but I don't know it's just it's scary <laughs> I feel like a first time mom again in that point because like I said I've never went into labor and they've already told me that you know the odds of me going into labor early are higher so I'm just worried about that <laughs> I'm just a little worried about that uh, it's not getting fluffy <laughs> I don't I don't have a metal brush. I need to get go to the pet section and get one of those metal cat brushes. It's fluffy er. Stick that under there. How does that look? I should have added more yarn to it. Looks like it needs more yarn in this area. The sides are pretty good. I don't know. It's really long. I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it some. It looks like I might need to put some more yarn in this area, or I can quit being picky and just do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I messed up the hat. The brim is too small, so I had to like stretch it like crazy to get it over his head, <laughs> and um, it's stuffed kind of weird. And I gotta make a pom pom. But uh, in fact, don't worry about being perfect all the time. I think it looks fine. Oh, so that way up underneath his nose. Those knots. I think I'm going to see if my sister wants this gnome after I get done with it. It looks alright. <laughs> it just needs to be trimmed. I just need to quit being so picky all the time. I'm always so, like, critical of my own work. But, yeah, he's almost done. I guess just got to sew his beard in there and make a pom-pom. I wanted to put a big jingle bell, but all my jingle bells are little tiny ones. And it wouldn't look right with a little tiny jingle bell. I don't think I have one that I can take off of a decoration. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go in there. What time is it? Hold on, let me see what time it is. I accidentally like, stopped recording <laughs> and I was still sitting here talking. Anyways, I was looking at the time and I guess it closed out the recorder. Anyways, um, I'm gonna wait to make tacos until after Jesse gets home. Cause I, when I wake up Devin, it'll be almost time to leave. So we'll just leave and go get him. And then come home, I can make tacos for dinner. And we might make cookies later. Uh, I mean, because Jesse likes helping me in the kitchen. So I might wait and have him help me make some cookies. And, yeah. So this this Saturday is supposed to be our Christmas parade. And it's still planned. But we also have an 80% chance of thunderstorms that day. <laughs> so far. It's supposed to be over before the evening. But, I don't know. They, they posted on Facebook that if they cancel the parade, it'll be last minute. You know, they're going to wait to the last minute to see if it needs to be canceled. So I'm hoping that 
the weather moves out and it'll be nice for the um, parade because we didn't have one last year because of everything you know and um, I want to go to the parade okay I'm gonna stop the beard there I'm happy enough with it doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> um, yeah so Devin has to work tonight and tomorrow and then he's off uh, the whole weekend Jesse has to go to school all next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And on Friday, he only has to go for two hours. And then he's off until January 4th. So that'll be nice. He'll be home for a while. It's almost Christmas time. <laughs> Our grocery order today had a lot of the Christmas stuff in it. Um, I'm going to be taking some barbecue Smokies to my sisters. Because on Christmas, when we go for Christmas there, um, we just take like hand f or finger foods. <laughs> so I'm going to take... Um, little smokies and some cookies she's making real tail dip something else she told me something else she's making oh those pickles with cream cheese and ham wrapped around it rolls I don't know what those are called but they're really good uh, I'm hoping my mom makes some more sausage balls she made them for Thanksgiving and they were the first things that were gone we all like hoarded to them and ate them all they are so good uh, yeah I don't know if my brother's gonna bring anything probably not but uh, we just like to have like snacky food so that we can snack food and talk and then open the gifts and go on. <laughs> so, yeah. I still gotta get wrapping paper to wrap her gifts because I got her name. And we also got my brother in law's name. But he's hard to shop for, so we're just getting him a gift card <laughs> to uh, a tool store because he likes tools. But yeah. And I got my nephew's gifts I gotta wrap them too my sister is actually gonna bring me some wrapping paper because she has a ton of it I didn't buy any last year on clearance and I'm now completely out so I need to restock up this year after Christmas on some wrapping paper yeah I guess that's it I've been chatting for a minute <laughs> I want to I'm gonna hop off here and put this little beard on this guy and then I gotta figure out what to do about his pom-pom because I'd like to make it out of the pipsqueak here so I might just make like a ball but I don't know if it'd look weird just as a ball I'll try to make it and see how it looks and go from there, I guess. But my gnome's almost done. I feel like he's a little goofy looking. But he's cute, I guess. <laughs> I just feel like his hat's like, because I accidentally made it too tight, so it kind of tucks in right there. And when I first put it on, I overstuffed it big time. I had to pick out all the stitches and take out like most of the stuffing because I way overstuffed it. It looked goofy. I have a habit of doing that. But I'm going to put his beard on, and he'll look a lot better once he has his beard. <laughs> and then I just got to do his uh, little paw on top of his hat and uh, call it a day. I might, I might just make a pom-pom out of white yarn <laughs> instead of using that pipsqueak. Because that pipsqueak is a pain in the butt to use. It looks so cute. I like it, and I've made amigurumis with it before, and they look really cute. But it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's really easy to lose your stitches, so you just try it, and you're just going with it, you know. But that's probably why that brim came out so small is because I lost some stitches along the way. But, uh, oh well. I'll hop back in here later and check in with you guys. I gotta get my scrap ball and open it. I haven't done that yet. Are you singing? Yeah. You're so cute. Did, you, they, did, ugh, did they play that at school today? What? That Christmas song you singing. No. Keep going. Sing some more of it. I know all of it. Sing what you do know. So, somebody waits for you. Kiss her with me. That's the only person I know. Mm -hmm. Have a holly jolly Christmas. How where you can see. Somebody. It wasn't very loud. <laughs> you are so cute. 